What is up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're on mini drag bikes account again i recently did a showcase on his account with samson so go check that video out um if you want to sort of learn more about samson but today we are going to look at narcissist he is an absolute beast i regret so much not having enough void shards for him lesson learned always always Keep 120 void shards because you never know when they're going to do another guaranteed. And that, that was like one of the best guarantees they've ever done. And we got Ancora as well as a fusion. So to get both together is a pretty crazy combo. But man, this guy can absolutely slap. Um, He's probably, I don't know, he's probably top three for Arena right now. For Nuka's just god tier. So sick. Just unbelievable. Um, so let's look at the build that Mini's gone for. So, of course, we've got him in lethal and we've managed to get one one piece Slayer. Just that extra crit rate comes in handy. And he's got him in a very, very good build. So we want to look for speed. We want to look for crit rate. We want to look for crit damage and HP percentage in the substats. And in that order, that's how you want to prioritize it. So triple speed roll, uh, broken roll there double like these are god tier gloves they don't come much better than that speed double rolling crit rate and the hp as well bit of defense is nice as well um you know defense on a tanky hp nuke like this is going to give them that extra survivability um i'd probably prefer crit damage on the ascension i mean on the awake what is it called now i can't even remember now you yeah it's awakening no it's ascension. It's ascension. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, HP is good as well because it does increase your damage and it does give you survivability. But I just feel like crit damage is going to just give you that a little bit of an edge of more damage. Then we've got HP on the chest and that's a nice piece as well. Not insane, but, um, you know, just if there's a double roll in speed or crit rate, it'd be slightly better. Also got crit damage as well, though. And the boots, we've got speed boots and we've got HP from, from the Ascension as well. Ring, so ring, of course you gain HP. Then we've got crit damage on the amulet and again, fully ascended for that extra crit damage. And then we've got HP on the banner. Um, personally, I like to have more rolls in speed. I would always try to go for at least a double roll in speed. But, you know, we've got speed, we've got a double roll in HP, and this is a refresh banner as well. So that is a really, really good piece. Oh, and of course, I've mi almost missed out on this as well. We've got a reaction ring as well. Total stats, we are rocking 110k HP. I mean, that is pretty insane. Um, then we've got um, 3.2k HP. Uh, HP, defense, uh, 238 speed. So he is very fast. That is a very fast new car. Uh, you always want to be, in my opinion, always at least above 200 speed. Almost perfect crit rate. And then 280% crit damage. Um, I feel like that could be a little bit higher. Obviously, that with um, from the gloves. If we just look at the blessings, where are we at blessings? So we're missing 40% crit rate from here. So... Um, was that 280, 280, so we'll be 320, that's pretty solid, but again, you could bump that up to like 340, I mean, that'd be huge, um, I would definitely be focusing Narcissist just to max him out to fully, being fully awakened would just be next level, um, yeah, I feel like Bone Armor is the best option on him, he hits so hard, you don't need Soul Reaper, I, you'd be, I'd be very surprised if someone didn't get dropped, uh, by Narcissus, and if he doesn't, there's something wrong with your build. But um, yeah, getting this extra speed down here, getting that crit damage as well, 38% extra crit damage, you're just going to blow people away. So passive, um, Mantle of the Undead. This champion will receive 50% less damage when attacked by enemies, including bosses or the minions, <laughs> out of their active turns. So any counterattacks, they're literally going to do nothing to you. 
Uh, that's pretty insane. If Ankura is on the same team, this champion will receive no damage when attacked by enemies. Other oh, actually, that is broken. Absolutely broken. Doesn't work against bosses and their minions. This champion's skill will ignore. Sh Wait, this champion's skills ignores shields and strength and buffs as well. Wow, just wow. That is just insane. So, spirits calm you. Oh, spirits claim you. Okay, so this is his A3. Attacks one enemy two times. Increases the damage inflicted by this skill by 10% for each buff on the target. Stacks up to 50% and by an additional 10% for each buff on this champion. Stacks up to 50%. So that sounds like to me it's 50% plus another 50%. So that's 100% and it's a double here. What, what the, you know, what were they thinking? What were they thinking? Had to restrain. I was going to swear there. I was going to drop the F-bomb, but we I restrained myself. But yeah, that is insane. That is a lot of damage. If this attack kills the target under three or more buffs, places block revive debuff. Wow. So he can block revive as well. Wow. That is just insane insane block revive is such a strong buff so wukong goodbye and like obviously you know the right revive meta is still really strong in live arena he is just an unstoppable force right now uh, also grants an extra turn if this kills an enemy if ankura is on the same team i don't even know what to say guys this is just next level stuff it really is his uh a2 Desecration Blast. <laughs> Attacks or enemies will ignore 25% of the target's defense. Places an extra hit on the target under shield or strengthen. I don't even know what to say. I mean, like all of this is just a huge counter to Taris and Marichka. But um, just the other champions as well, like um, Pytheon does strengthen. Um, also shield, like how many people have bolster on their, on their champions? This is just broken as anything. Just so broken. Um, just redonkulous. Uh, damage inflicted by a skill cannot be decreased by enemies' passive skills. All masteries, except by the passive skills of bosses. Okay. Uh, damage uh, inflicted by this skill cannot be increased by either champions' masteries or allies' passive skills when attacking bosses. All right, so let's ignore. We don't care about the boss stuff. We don't care about PVE. We're all about the PvP. Um, I'm sure he's great for PVE, but um, this is just insane. The damage inflicted by this skill cannot be decreased by passives or masteries. Duchess, her AOE decrease, um, you know, she reduces AOE decrease. She reduces AOE damage. Uh, I think it's like 20%, 25%. It's a lot. And that just gets completely ignored. Masteries. Like, what masteries are there that can reduce damage? Uh, improved parry is one. Uh, what else? I c I'm Blast proof as well. I mean, this is just... It is just so broken. This is... And we go in for free. Well, if you had 120 void shards... You know, they gave him away for free. I cannot believe this. I am the biggest idiot on the planet. Never again. Never again. All right, his A1, Corrupted Scepter. Attacks one enemy, has a 30% chance of randomly increasing the cooldown of the target's skills by two turns. This effect cannot be resisted if Ankura is on the same team. Oh, so you don't even need accuracy. Obviously... You have to pair these two together. Even if you don't have them together, he's still so broken, doing some insane stuff. And we're still getting that block revive, even if Ankor is not on the team. Just so broken. Just go look at the masteries that um, Mini's gone for. So pretty solid build um, for the defense tree. Nothing wrong with trying to get as much counter-attack as you can on the right-hand side. The only thing I might do differently is it's nice to reduce AoE damage, but I personally love improved parry. 
in reducing that uh, damage from critical hits by 8% is huge. And that's on every single ability where Blast Proof is only for AoEs. And you never need to worry about support champions. Support champions, they're going to do nothing to you. So you might as well get that improved parry. The offense side, though, I would definitely do this differently. Um, I'm going to go on Raid Bros. And uh, yeah, show you how I would do the masteries. Definitely very, very differently. We're on Raid Bros, guys. And here we go. So this is how I would go for the masteries. Um, you know, Defiant. Not really important to get out of resistance, but it's all about that improved parry. Wisdom Battle is great as well. So we take, um, you know, if there's any sort of CC on us, when that comes off, we got a chance of putting block debuffs on us. So we become an unstoppable force. Um, neither of these are particularly great for him, but, you know, whatever. Um, and then I'd go Retribution and Deterrence. So we got a double chance of getting counterattacks. You could just go for Retribution and Cycle Revenge. Either either options are great. Cycle Revenge, you know, got a good chance of booting our um, turn meter. But I do like Deterrence. Just anyone for an out CC, we got a good chance of popping off with counterattacks. And this is how I would go for the offense tree. So coming down, do not take Heart of Glory. There's a very good chance you're not going to have full HP. So if you have 99% HP, you're not getting that 5% extra damage. So it's completely pointless. It's only really good for PvE, clan boss. That is what Heart of Glory is used for. Definitely want to be taking Shield Breaker. Um, it's, well, to be fair, I don't think Shield Breaker is going to help us because we're ignoring shields. So it's probably not going to help us, actually. Probably better to take Grim Resolve. Um, but just because... Yeah, yeah, we, we could take Grim Resolve instead. That would probably be actually a better option. So if we are a little bit low on HP, we are going to do extra damage. Then I would take Whirlwind of Death. Um, I don't feel like he needs Ruthless Ambush. And with Stone Skin and stuff, you know, the first hit is just going to get neglected anyway. And he hits so hard, that extra 8% is not going to stack up. So actually, I would rather take Whirlwind of Death so we become even faster than what we are, can just cycle around and just slap people around like anyone's business. Then I would definitely take Opportunist. I mean, Cycle of Violence is also a good option. I am sort of torn between the two, but the chances are you are going to bring someone in that's going to throw out stun, sleep, freeze, whatever, and we're going to get that extra 12% damage. So I do feel like that is the better way to go. Of course, the left-hand side, we're just taking that damage, taking kill streak. Um, because we are going to be dropping heads and we want to stack up that damage and then go for Helm Smasher because we want to ignore that defense. So we've looked at the builds, we looked at the masteries. Let's take him into Arena and just absolutely smack. All right, guys, found a tough team Roto, Sifi, Oma Death Knight, and Tormund. And yeah, this is what we're going to go with. So we got Ancora, Narcissus, obviously. Um, Crixia and then Tormund as well. So hopefully they go first. Oh no, we're going to go first. So first thing we do is we're going to lock them out. And I want to put it on one speed just so you guys can appreciate the damage that Narcissus does. So we're going to do the A2. And here we go. 45. Wow. He just ripped the entire team. What? That is broken. I have never seen anything so broken in this game. What an absolute beast. This is just easy mode unlocked. All right. Um, let's go to the next one. All right, guys. Finally found a team with Taras and Marichka. And they've also got Brogni as well, which is interesting. A plus four Brogni. Uh, imagine his shields are big and fat. Okay, so they're definitely going to go first. Ooh. I mean, that was a big slap. So <laughs> do we have Rotus on the team? And I don't know how well built he is on Mini's account. Um, it, obviously, it's not my account. I don't know who's built and who's not. So we're going to do the AoE damage. Look at that. We just dropped the entire team. He is just 
so broken. So let's uh, revive. Ooh, maybe that wasn't a good choice. So we need to put their skills on cooldown. And just hopefully Rotos can take out Arb and then Taras. So Arb, she has to go first. Now we're just going to focus Taras. I mean, we should be strong enough to take him out. Get that revive, get that shield. Oh, we're getting the revive anyway. Come on, Reyes. There we go, you beast. And easy W. I mean, this is gold for Tag Arena. Um, these guys will be, their accounts, their champions are going to be built so well. Let's just try one more fight. Um, I might just go in Classic Arena because I want to try and showcase Narcissus by himself. But I feel like it's not fair. We're in gold four for tag. It doesn't get much harder than that. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's go to a Classic. All right, just come across this team with 500k team power. Saying that, we got 660, but we do have a Mythical. They massively bump up your stats. Well, they get like bonus stats, so it kind of makes it look like you've got way more team power than you actually have. Uh, but we've got Gorgrid and Necred. And I was just thinking Narcissus goes through shields. Um, but yeah, we're going to do it without having um, Ancora. So we'll see how things go. Okay, that's interesting. So this guy is kind of weak, to be honest. Um, no bolster, no stone skin on Necred or Duchess. Very, very odd. So we're going to try and strip with uh, Creaxia. And there we go. And we should be able to survive this big hit coming from Gorgrid. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. I was expecting him to do something else. I guess we did lock him out. So big hit from the A2. And that damage, was that 180k? That is just unheard of. I still can't get over that I, I missed this guy. If I just waited, I think that I got baited by Cfi. You know, it was two, two X, like two times void, plus that 10% chance. Well, not 10% chance, 10 X chance to get Cfi. I got baited hard. Um, yeah, he is just so busted. I still can't get over it. Um, yes, I don't know what else to say. He is just an absolute god in the game. If you got him, you've got him. Make sure you build him out. You need a lot of, like, you know, I would prioritize him as my number one nuka on my account. Um, better than Leores, better than Hepfrak, better than so many nukas. Like, literally, the only people that I would put on his level are mythicals such as Taris. Okay, not mythical, but, you know, he is like one of the best. But then um, Sigmund Freud, who is, or Sigfreund, Sig, Sigfreund, Sigfreund, what a weird name. Um, but yeah, this guy obviously probably being like number one right now. But um, yeah, what an absolute beast. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure to smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll catch you all in a video soon. Peace.